The Curse of Oak Island Season 11 Episode 18 teased big things, and it lived up to all expectations with newly unearthed clues about possible Viking presence on the island. Yes, the 12th of March teased the possibility of Vikings being part of the island's history alongside the Knights Templar. The scientists dated two antiquities from the garden shaft as original depositor goods. A new expert explained how the Vikings could have helped the Templar Knights transport riches to the island. The Dumas mining crew erected a series of worn timbers 100 feet below the surface at the foot of the garden shaft. Though they thought these were part of a tunnel, the crew found nothing like that. The guys guessed that once the walls and roof were destroyed, the tunnel's floor was all that was left. If they are unable to find a well-defined tunnel that they can follow to get the prize, it might be frustrating. Carmen Legge and the archaeometallurgist Emma Cullinan use technology to analyze two little iron objects found at the bottom of the garden shaft, hammered into wooden beams. It was found that the objects were little screws or nails that may be used to build chests or hang lamps in tunnels. Carmen calculated their ages to be between 1400 and 1700. Because of the high sulfur level and lack of manganese, Emma deduced that the artifacts were probably closer to the oldest end of Carmen's age range, suggesting an ancient iron source. The two iron items date to the 14th century. This implies that they are collaborating with the original depositors of the garden shaft. You can hear Marty saying, this is original work, then we have had a successful year. Dr. Doug Simons had an interesting idea in the war room. The guys have speculated in recent weeks that the Vikings and Templar Knights had worked together in the 13th century to move ancient Christian relics out of Jerusalem. The organization believes that Nolan's Cross and the other two stone monuments were built in the 13th century by the Templar Knights. They also know that Vikings established villages in Newfoundland around the 11th century, 650 kilometers to the north. After discovering modern artifacts of Scandinavian origin, the crew pondered if the Templars and Vikings had collaborated. Last night, Dr. Simons stated that it was possible. According to Simons, around the beginning of the 12th century, Vikings traveling to the Holy Land as the Crusaders, led by King Sigurd, gathered with knights who eventually became the Templars. The researcher stated that there was little question that the two groups would have gotten along well enough to collaborate in order to deliver items such as the Holy Grail to the island. I'm running out of ways to be skeptical about the Templars, Alex states in the video. Skeptics always say that the Laginas are too obsessed with the Knights Templar, but with so much evidence and theories they find, are they? Do tell us in the comments.